back to wiping out a few more we're on to the rat like large city clearly a lot of disdain towards uh, uh rats and uh humans i think four is probably overkill but given the situation let's zoom out uh yeah they're gonna come hard and fast at us here so need a few defenders go Yeah, they can take a good bit of a, a beating. Uh, so let's hold them back, though. Because we do have to deal with four turrets at each side. So overwhelming them is going to be a very important factor. Drop that back then, just builders. Damn, they have really not prioritized hives. Please. Please. Think of the hives. There we go. And uh, with this build up, I think we can just uh, move in. And just set up shop. Yeah, sounds about right. Now, we do want to establish a bit of a uh, line of control. Scythe bit will be perfect for that. Nah, I just love speed. The need for speed. As you can see, since the defenders mass themselves, they are uh, pretty good at chewing through armor. Now, obviously, I don't believe they go too much into negative armor. That, although, to be fair, that could be the case. I haven't actually crunched the numbers on that. Now we can move up north. Again, the only thing that's going to outrange us are these turrets. And annoying as they may be, they are not invincible. Well, actually, what we'll do is we will push them over this direction. On impossible difficulties, I actually have to take out these houses here just to boost a bit of my economy. Uh, thankfully, we don't need to do that here. It's more of an advanced strategy when it comes to the El Buggos. And what we'll do is we will swap them to go this way. Tell the defenders to go that way. Swarmers up here. They should stay there. Yep. Good job. Really now our only problem is, well, maybe we could have cut builders out a whole lot sooner from the spawn pool. That have equally worked. Two minutes five seconds on to the next section right evolutions uh defenders don't need any more spawn size more health would be maybe nice to attack speed hmm tough decisions tough decisions for sure starting nutrients starting You know what? Could we actually... Oh, we don't have enough to get up there. Yeah, this'll do. Uh, do, 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 do. Cockroach time. Let's go. You know the drill.
I know. Cool guys don't even look at the map before they start building. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, this is... This is gonna be easy. Well, with tanks, tanks, you see, are quite, uh, quite dangerous. If I can, uh, and run straight down the middle here. It's a good thing we're showing our humans here a lot of hospitality. Uh, I think they're going to lose their command center pretty quickly. The armor reduction hits on tanks uh, is just immense. Yeah, drop builder, drop defender. Allow nutrient goo. I'll get rid of all our builders. Allowing the spawning of everything else. Soon we'll be able to give our swarmers back their upgrades as a token of my appreciation to them. Because they're currently really weak. As you can see, they're down one shot to nearly everything. Again, wants to get loads of armor upgrades and uh, attack speeds and lots of other things. Uh, it's brilliant. They just, just roll over. Roll over the enemy. Uh, don't need help on them. Capacity. Huge spawn size. Work our way up to the wasp. I love the wasp. The wasp is easily one of my favorite units in this game. In fact, so much so that maybe very soon before we head off to the Wasp. Ah, this one. So, yeah, we'll get the Wasp upgraded, even if we have to sacrifice the Defender, who, of course, has been a very valiant unit. In this conquest of ours. I'll actually just up spawn sizes again. Run up the defenders, up the defenders. Uh, these are actually totally protected because they can't shit through these rocks. go okay uh these very high uh very high health tesla towers they kind of have a rapid fire attack you'll probably see it yeah more so instead of like the the real charge up that you know from red alert um one and two and three uh these are actually rapid fire not that it helps them that much Yeah. 
Yeah. Get very comfortable with the wasp. You're going to be seeing them a lot. My favorite unit used to always be the... Uh, it went from the Defender um, to the Boom Slug for an awful long time. I still love the Boom Slug. It holds a special place in my heart for just being a downright deviously dastardly unit um, that you love to see. I love the Spore Artillery, but the Wasp... Ah, uh, the Wasp got me out of a real pickle. Um, I got bogged down for many, many a game until I saw you. Okay, so what we will do is we will remove quite a lot. Dash attack now. Hexagonal breeding means that uh, their increased efficiency and they cost half as much nutrients. So we'll also get that and we'll just make, uh, make them all... Oh, we'll need swarm speed. That would be good. Won't even have... If we can't have the defender, no point in even having that upgrade. Uh, spore launchers, we won't need either. Can I get something else? Swarm health again. Yeah, let's go. Hopefully. This isn't a disaster. Ah, I doubt it. Okay, so... Now, there is a key skill to the wasps that I guess I just forgot to uh, to mention. And that is exploding on death is, uh, is a really good thing you can get for them. Uh, we are going to completely pummel them here, though. The wee dash attacks that just make them extra. Now, they don't seem that frightening. They don't, they don't seem scary at all right now. And that's the idea. They're not that scary right now. Because you have not seen what many, many, many wasps get up to. Our problem is we actually don't have, <laughs> if you can believe it, the economy uh, to keep up with the amount of wasps that we've got. Okay, so the wasps aren't at critical mass just yet. Uh, they do need the wee upgrade to explode on death. Kind of forgot about that. It's kind of a key part to the whole wasp thing. And plus, you kind of need to let the builders die so we can spawn out more, more, and more wasps. What's that? More wasps? Yeah. Let's go. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Right, I definitely need to get that, get that upgrade. I don't even know what where it is. I wonder where it is on the evolutionary tree. Because they've rejigged it, so I'm not sure. There it is. They do two damage if they die on a tile. I, I like, I need it. It's like, vital. So I don't care if I've got to do that. That'll make them... That This will make more sense now. Fortified military center. Prepare to be vanquished. There we go. Should get us all the nutrients we need. So we're dealing with the spawner there, two there, and one there. Perfect. I 
actually think there's even more speed upgrades we can get. Uh, right, drink again. You haven't even seen... You haven't seen a fraction of their true power just yet. It gets really frightening. Because I actually can't field that many. I've only 76. But the exploding on death makes a massive difference. Because if they, if they manage to dash into any unit, so flamer, tank, turret, anything that can kill them, which is obviously mostly everything in this game, uh, they'll at least deal three damage. And see at the amount of these guys that you can spawn, it makes it so much, it just makes it so worth it. Yeah, no more builders. Those wasps. And I'm sure now you can kind of understand why they are just king when it comes to uh, dispatching enemy bases. Especially when things get really close quartered. Wasps are just your go-to. Now a few things they do not like. They do not like rocket men. They don't like commandos. They don't like really any of the late game units that you will eventually have to throw their way. go three minutes many evolutions that i get there too okay so swarm capacity by the day anything else i could maybe get for them and they're locking plates gives them plus one armor loads of attack speed extra damage yeah you can kind of see how they build up to uh to really scary scary units Okay, let's go. Very large peasant city is up next. So from this little haven we have, uh, oh look, a civilian just decides to walk right towards us. Hello there. Can we help you? You just going out for a wee stroll? Yeah, and you got munched. Can't say I have a lot of sympathy for you. There we go. I do use postules often to kind of, you know, make a wee bit of a barrier. Way. There's a lot of uh, annoying units. Namely, flamers. And others. <laughs> oh, sometimes, and I say sometimes, this actually happens an often, a lot more than you'd think. Uh, Builders kind of hog the uh, the pool, so to speak, the spawn pool, uh, just with like overwhelming numbers. So if you find that happening, don't worry. All you need is a lot more wasps. There we go. We've got critical mass of about 170 wasps. Again, this will be upgraded as we continue to get more evolutionary points. And you can see that pretty much once you have a stable economy, they also earn nutrients for killing units. So it's a kind of a, a perpetual war machine that just, once it starts going, eh, very hard to stop. 
And from where they'll be spawning, again... Oh. You seeing this? Is this dealt with, and I think a tank left to go. Two mats, 54. 52. Can't count. <laughs> right, what's next? Two more. Swarm capacity, and we can just start things off faster again. You can't beat it. Oh, will someone try and stop us? Okay, we've got a command center, four of them, and ooh, forgot about this, right, we'll actually get some wasps right away. Probably good for now. Okay, time to get some more wasps. Did they take that out? Nope, they're still munching and crunching on these buildings. There isn't too many of them. You can kind of forgive it. Go, my swarm. Go forth and bring me all of the humans' heads. Which you know they would do. Oh. I was going to say what destroyed this, but... I, I thought I thought they hadn't destroyed these. That was where my, my general confusion was coming from there. You can just watch as they as they roll over. Okay. I mean, we're starting to get to the stage the builders are kinda hogging it again. Now, do you have a bit of ebb and flow? Now it's probably more important in impossible difficulty and harder. But it's a tactic that can definitely work in normal. If you find that your buggos are not making much of a dent in a certain direction, then just send them in another direction. Meaning they can spread their forces out. Sometimes a lot of flamers and tanks and rocket men can get all bunched up. But if you go in another direction of their defenses, you can thin numbers elsewhere, then come back and attack them later. I'm pretty sure it's mentioned in Sun Tzu's Art of War or something like that. Well, you kind of have to split the enemy up. And, well, considering they spread out for you just the way the AI goes, you would be rude not to uh, take full advantage of this. In one armor. Uh, I'm not sure what difference that makes overall. Where are we starting off here? Human Garbage Village. Let's go. You're noticing... By this stage, a bit of a wash, rinse, and repeat. Now, this is the introduction of none other. Where is he? Than the commando? No? Huh? There he is. This is the commando. He is a fast, strong, dangerous human. Fires rapidly and uh, in large quantities is a pain in the ass. So, you're going to want to deal with that. Come to think about it. I already have a strategy it's called throw wasps at them right away as fast as we can and uh, yeah finish this wall as fast as we can front turrets are down move boat 
other two. Build some more pustules. And uh, with the wasps, we don't have to go round. We can just go straight into the middle of them. You can see when a flamer is used on these guys, it just detonates them all over the place. Oh, this was incredibly easy. It could have been be beat actually faster if I didn't have so many builders spawning. Their usefulness ran out about 10 seconds prior to that. Uh, straight on, we have one on spent point. Listen, we don't need to min max it. We're having fun. Oh, Swarmers, you you's actually got to spawn. That's um, that's curious. Let's go for a wee intricate design here. Who said the buggos can't uh, make really decent bits of art? Okay, uh, that is just for fun, but that is pretty cool. <laughs> right. Drop you down. Leave you down these two. Find your drink. Go. Target wasps. Wasps will fly. Instead of going through all these barriers, all these spawners to get to here. Just gonna spend, just send them right over the hill. Obviously, when this when this level was designed in particular, it wasn't thought of that wasps would even exist. And I am thankful for that because it is so cool, right? Okay, now with enough builders, we can fill the gaps. Allow new drink, no more builders. Only wasps. I love them because they can do, like, surgical strikes at the rear of enemy bases. An impossible difficulty, getting these two down and not having them actually come towards you is such a great help. Artillery would have been good as well, but artillery's a bit unreliable in that it might attack these walls. Uh, you know, making for a much harder uh, game. 215 wasps. This bottom grip has made it to the spawner. Spawner is dead. This top grip spent a bit of time chewing through the wall, but there's nothing really left by the time they get here, so it's really just them rolling over what's left. And they sure do like leftovers. Two minutes 30. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, okay, well, we're actually going to pick up a few more points. We have three, so we could do one capacity we can do that in fact what i think would really kick start us is the construction squad and making these guys all buggos gain one damage perfecto right the creepy technology center i like this one pretty easy boom boom So the construction squad just starts you with essentially 20 uh, builders just right off the bat. Um, I think six hives is probably all we need right now. Yeah, so this is the creepy technology center. Surrounded by Tesla cannons, it's two spawners in the inside. Uh, there's plenty of tanks and issues that we'll have to contend with, but not to fear. This is easy for us. Also toggle some wasps. And maybe put three hives at the front here. Yeah, the security detail for this city, uh, probably housing all the engineers for the te creepy technology center. What they were researching, it's not very clear, but it's more than likely very creepy. As the name would suggest. Allow new drink and stop 
builder production as we uh, move up. Oh. If you see that you're not getting the nutrients that you require, uh, well, there's an easy solution for that. Swap back on builders, because uh, obviously they are just generally cheaper, and the builders can just keep building nutrient pustules. Uh, your size of economy probably depends on how quickly you are dying, and as you can see, we are losing considerable amounts of wasps here very, very fast. Yeah, sometimes they get stuck just attacking walls. That's just one of the way the one of the things that happens to this sort of tactic. Just rely on these for forward hives. Again, bit of ebb and flow. We've taken out a large amount of wall and now the spawners and now the remaining resistance. And there is a brave commando. I must commend them. He is making a pretty mad last stand at the back. Alas, it will not matter. He has been turned to toast. Actually, we've reversed engineered the toast. He got turned back into bread. <laughs> All right, what are we doing now? I'm going to pick up more starting nutrients and a bigger swarm. That would be good. Uh, civilian power reactor seems to be like a nuclear one. This is definitely one of them ones that we've got to... Uh, Watch out. I am as efficient as I can be. So hopefully get us another wee boost of nutrients to just keep Pumping out units. Right. Now that we've dealt with the bottom left corner. There's a spawner up there. And uh, oh, there's one on either side. Okay, well, uh, this one goes first. I have no bias. It just... That's just the way it's going to be. Yeah, crushing this way. Uh, we need to... I, I, I should have stopped the builders. I thought I did. Oh, no, I just turned the nutrient goo on. Right. Let's try and get this guy here. Oh. So we didn't... We didn't have enough wasps to just clean sweep it. Again, uh, I think if you had about 200 there, you could have just done that all in one sweep. For speedrun purposes, if anyone tries to speedrun it, I would be very interested to see what a finish time would be. This is standard. And I'm messing about and explaining things, so... I mean, I'm, sh I'm sure that could be excused. <laughs> uh, we'll take the uh, nutrient... No, no nu nutrient goo. We don't need that. We just need larger hives. To spawn more! More buggos! No, no. Ooh, got them just in time. Okay, this is uh, the three plong. Oh, five spawners. This is deadly in impossible mode. Um, normally, if they kind of expand over to the left or right and uh, just kind of pray that you don't get rolled over. 
Okay, nutrient patches will now produce uh, some stuff for us. Right, you have to be proactive because they're on us already. Didn't last too long there. Uh, over here. Oh, I lots of bees. And they can just kind of build out uh, as best they can. How many do we have? Almost a hundred already? What? Great. It's like cheese. It's great. Great Ed. I need to stop with the dad jokes. Just for a minute. <laughs> Give everyone a bit of peace. Okay, no more builders. The economy looks to be holding up, I think. Yeah. Just at that nice, perfectly balanced economy stage. Living on the edge. I believe wasps are the fastest strategy for a speedrun. Again, we're still constructing a speedrun. Oh. Oops. Guess I missed that one. Why did no one point that out? Oh, wow, it's not streamed yet. I will be streaming once I have the internet, too. I just currently don't. <laughs> uh, it's it's kind of sad. It's really, really slow. Okay. What am I doing? This is such a small map with three spawners so close. All right, time to send these guys out. Allow Nutrient Goo, kill off the remaining builders. May or may not have. And just launch war onto them. Now, whilst that will break through those walls. And I could have pushed much further and faster there. I'm opting not to. Opting instead to just uh, gather everyone up. You can take them a couple of tiles outside the map. So if you want to do some backstabs uh, later in the game, that is entirely optional. And they're great. You know what? I'd say a pretty healthy number of these. That's what they're meant for. Just a massive barrage. Two spawners down. We could have beat this a whole lot quicker if I was still building a bit of an economy. Because if we could have been maxing these out at 340. Ah. So yes, it's a, as I said, it's the fine balance between economy and just pushing the living daylights out of them and not letting them spawn and killing every single one of them for the blood god. <laughs> yeah, Warhammer 40k looking out there. Right. What we got? Any more? I think I was saying I would like these guys... Not attack. I mean, I don't know why that's there. It's never been that useful for me. And anything I do. Attack speed. We have all these. Okay, from this point onward, it appears that we're not going to go with that because I've realized if we just do the goo. Yeah, we'll do goo. Goo. Uh, the pit, we just need more economy. 
So gross residential compound, that's good. No, no. Woo. Actually, we'll keep it on the nutrient production. See, that's 25 nutrients from everything. Yeah, if I... Yeah, see, they're all clacking four, but five, if I have this tick. What I can also do is I can turn on nutrient guy, kill most of them, get wasps, spawn the wasps. The wasps will actually not be attacking from the front base. Oh no, no, you see, the wasps, they'll be attacking from elsewhere. There we go. And see, because I attacked them, I got all the nutrient boost. Because uh, you can see we actually didn't have the economy to take this long... Uh, like, if it, was, if it was a much longer engagement, we wouldn't have had the economy. But because I destroyed the back line with a lot of buildings in it... Uh, yeah, we'll just go with two unspent points. We'll just, how, how about we just don't spend any points? What about that for the, for the next challenge? We've, we've got everything we could possibly need. I just heard that sound effect. This is what I think they were working on in the creepy technology center. It was this. Uh, these laser generators. Really annoying for swarmers and any unit that needs to kind of get to them. Now, normally their counter is boom slugs. But we just so happen to specialize in their counter. Because, see, they're defending this whole suave valley of things. Why Why do we need them? We, like, this, this will be an absolute speedrun. Because... Oh, you're just about to find out. Well, you can probably tell. Wasps don't care about your feelings. See, it's the facts don't care about your feelings, like the Ben Shapiro line. But instead, I made it the wasps don't care about your feelings. Because they don't care about terrain. So, you can cry all you want. They don't mind. Get rid of all these. Because see, even if one of these laser things gets deployed, I'm sure you're noticing what's happening. Uh, there's actually a place you can build a hive here. Pro tip. That uh, they can't attack. Well, the turrets can probably attack it, but... Okay, now the builders can nice and quietly get on their way. Very prolonged fight, uh, so we probably should step up the economy. If I drop the builders, if that drops below 2,000, well, we know we don't have the economy to keep this push going. It's okay. I'll do that, and then I'll move back in. Fresh numbers ready to go. That's okay. It's not far and well right now. Keep them built up here. Run them all up here. That number actually did smash through. Nice. 
Yeah, as you can see, loads of turrets and commandos. It's annoying, but it, it certainly doesn't stop. Uh, I don't think this will finish it, will it? Maybe? Almost? It probably could have. But we'll take out these wee stragglers. And then move up. <laughs> See, normally you have to snake your way around. It's a bit of a... I mean, artillery kind of fixes that. Artillery could beat this level pretty handily. Um, but we didn't need that. We just needed them. And the challenge continues to just not use any more... Uh, a bit sad. When I could have attacked earlier, it's a 2 out of 10. Oops. It happens. Space out design. Okay, some wasps. Just to take care of him. Actually, take it. I could have just run all the wasps in here. It's a bit risky, but if I could take out that spawner pretty quick, it'd be much less of a headache for me. Uh, allow new drink. There we go. That's dead. No need to worry so much. We could probably take that one out too. Again, wasps showing their worth. And any time you feel your wasps are not getting the upper hand, you simply send them to the other side. We can drop builders. I don't even think we can drop builders. We just our economy doesn't seem that strong, which is very strange. Because to me, it seems pretty strong. I mean, that's a lot of postules. Does not matter though. What matters is less buildings and less humans, and we've got both of those things in supply. Two minutes, two seconds. Boom, boom. Don't even care what level we're attacking these at. Da, da, da. Now, come on. Let me know in the comment section if you've made it this far. Firstly, thank you. And secondly, are wasps OP? That is the question of the day. For this entire long play, are, are wasps OP? Because I will be using them probably to the end of the match. We will be upgrading the nutrient goo quite a bit as well. Okay, time to get wasps on the go. Hey wasps, they were saying your mama's cooking's no good. You just gonna take that? That's what I thought. So even if they get remotely close, they deal damage uh, to the command center. They're just a flying version of swarmers. There, I said it. That's that's what I think. That's what I believe. Controversial, I know. My goal is to kind of strip this layer by layer, like an onion. And I'm kind of...
kind of managing it. I need to stop building any of these guys. <laughs> and let's just go straight up. Push some builders. Yeah, like an equal number now. Oh, and then I think I was saying to you that this can happen sometimes. It's really annoying. <laughs> I love when there's like a swarm of them just sweeps, sweeps through everyone. Okay, next up, inferior. We have seven on spam points. This level is what I like to dub annoying. It's really annoying. Very, very irritating. You're about to find out why when I zoom out. Three spawners here and two here. Now one might think, oh, well, there's two at the top, so that's probably the easier choice. And yeah, you're kind of right, I suppose. But in another sense, you're also, well... That's the longer distance. This one's slightly shorter distance to reach. See the see the problem we're we're starting to build up here. Aye. I need this attack to basically wipe out this first one. That's all this attack has to do. And it seems to have succeeded. Yeah, we've taken out the command centers. Confirmed as of right now. No more builders. They are no longer required. And they just did not have time to react. Look at me smashing standard mode. And I know how to rebuild our forces for the next attack. Uh, we just swipe down through here. Um, swing back into them. Mm -hmm. Can't even despawn fast enough. I thought I heard, like, a bomb go off there. There we go. Affluent human city. We've done this in a roundabout way, but it matters not. No. I'll actually spawn a load of these guys straight off the bat. Okay. 
good reason. If I can punch through this bit here, I mean, we probably could have just went for one side of the wall. Like, but I love the tenacity of them. They really don't care. I can drop that to mass builders once again. And lastly, this one. So we took out near enough. A filled housing district is gone, thanks to us. It's it's peaceful, is it not? <laughs> is it not so peaceful to watch these guys in action? Area 6, the last area it used to be. Until they added the DLC. But we'll be smashing through the DLC too. Because to me, it all may as well count as one. DLC was free, by the way. We'll just add it for free. Who does that? He did, and it's it's great. He's the creator of Buggos, by the way. Don't know whether he likes me referring to him as his as his name, but it is what it is. <laughs> he has constructed an awesome game. I have many hours of playtime in. Many hours. Many many hours. Countless hours. This was actually uh, the game that got me back into YouTube in general. I just recorded it one Sunday for no reason whatsoever, and everyone loved it. I thought, oh. They obviously loved the game. <laughs> I like to think that my personality adds a bit of zest to it anyway. Fun fact, this episode is specifically recorded because I'm actually going on vacation um, very soon. So the plan was record a few episodes, throw them up, yada yada, get the drift. Add the builders back. Again, we're, we're losing the front a bit. That's okay. Ah, rocket guys. Don't know where they got introduced. They probably were just recently. It's just this area. I, uh, I'm silly and I forgot. Don't like stragglers. Really annoys me when there is any stragglers in the game. Ooh, no more builders. New Trinku. T 
take these out before they fire again if I can. Yeah, I did. This one, not so much. No. Okay, well, the rocket guys are annoying. Thankfully, we spawned far more wasps than they could ever bother us uh, with in terms of rocket guys. I actually get quite a bit of gold for them. Did anyone make it down here? This lone marine's thinking he's all big against an army? Nah. You can be more efficient, once again, with your builders. I'm just not. <laughs> not in this one. Boom. Right. Format's 41. Okay, I think I have like 11, 14 points. Ooh. Greater goo, goo on death, defensive goo. Okay, picked all that. As uh, former attack speed, it's all for boom slugs. It's all for defenders, for spinners, for swarmers. It's just for Titan. Kill infestation would be good. That's an upgrade for swarmers, so probably should look to throw them their upgrades. Probably not gonna go spore artillery. And that means Swarm others are also really, really good. I I honestly can't lie. Uh, communication Relay, one of the hardest games in our levels. Yeah. One of the hardest things to do in this game is complete this level. Now, this is my first try. You're conveniently giving, giving some stuff there, it seems. I'll just send this one. And send the wasps over. You can just destroy that one. Makes our life a lot easier right here. In fact, I have the liberty of just Sending even more at them. Yeah, okay. Never mind, never mind. On impossible difficulty, this map. Ooh, this map is hard. Wasps have made it considerably easier, though, because even just if you were on Impossible and you destroyed that one uh, command center, that is one less spawning trips at you, and trust me, it is... Oof! It is a great feeling. I've only six Swarm Mothers. Normally, you want about 20. Um, the kind of that's for like economic efficiency because when they spawn swarmers, uh, which is three at a time because I fully upgraded them, they're completely free, so they're not a burden in your economy whatsoever, uh, which everyone obviously loves them for. OK, 
Okay, that's built. Well, at least they've been allowed to spread their rings, uh, spread their wings. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Hardest level, defeated. Wow, I feel empty inside knowing that I've defeated the hardest buggos map. Flawless victory. Well, I lied. There's probably a harder one in the DLC. In fact, I say probably. I know there is. There's one that is just sickeningly hard. That one's just hard because it's really constricted. Two spawners, four spawners in this map. You might, you might have, you could have been mistaken for thinking we were going to go anywhere other than right behind to backstab them. Bye bye spawners. Good night. No more builders. The builders, as you know, when they're fully upgraded, the builders hold their own. That is definitely something to be said about them. They just don't care. They know there's more of them than they could ever hope to handle. And I did that without even enacting a speed boost, which is actually crazy that they did so well. Also crazy how many you lose to one shot of a rocket man when they're all bunched up. But hey, <laughs> that is the price that you just sometimes have to pay. Do you imagine them just watching this, this just horde of wasps? I would say an awful lot of people really like that map because uh, the enemy aren't right there waiting for you at the start. Um, because of the walls, so you kind of have the advantage. Oh. Of spawning all your trips like that. Wow. Spawned all swarmers. And in possible mode, there's times I've had to reset the map because I have simply just spawned the wrong trips at the start. That's how detrimental it can be to your economy. Get more nutrient key. That's for sure. Swarmers win battles. Nutrients win wars. Bit of advice for you. Sand 
and these in. Because see, this one, there are two opens. Or well, three bases to contend with. Two now. But you can trust me, there was three. That's uh, definitely the rocket man that you have to worry about. Rocket man. Yeah, I won't won't uh, won't serenade you with too much karaoke tonight, or evening, or morning, or whenever you decide to watch this. I'll be curious to know. But my question is already: Are wasps overpowered? Maybe in the next uh, long play, I might suggest something else. Look at that. Just completely cornered. Mommy. Reminds me of the, old, uh, the comrade from our conscript from Command and Conquer. Mommy. When he gets die when he uh, dies. Um, Command and Conquer 2. Anyone wondering? You might have been thinking Command and Conquer 3 red alert. What? Don't remember that. I hope Command & Conquer Red Alert 2 gets a remaster. I hope when you watch this that it's already remastered. They remastered the first one, uh, which was awesome, of course. But, you know, I'm a greedy consumer and I would like my favourite one. Remade. Yeah, Perfect, that goes out very nicely. Can you not, please? Oh, speed. Any builders to have to deal with? Uh, 40. Uh, I think you're noticing that swarmers are randomly appearing because of our 10% chance to uh, spawn swarmers when killed. Things you just devilishly Love to see. Uh, no nutrient goo for this one. We just, uh, <laughs> we were spawning way too many of them. Now, if you do lose an, a very large quantity very quickly to Rocket Man, you will need a lot of nutrients to replace them. Be wary of this, especially at harder difficulties, as it may lead you to uh, running out of nutrients. And trust me, especially at harder levels, if you lose your push, you can get set back considerably. Sometimes uh, it can kind of snowball into you just losing flat out. If you can sustain the economy for a push, uh, you just you do incredible.
Actually, I like I like doing this sort of circle thing. They look like tendrils. Ah, it's pretty cool. Let me take it. These guys, come on. Don't do half a job. Okay, no more. Okay, tendrils is the new the new style for me. This one took considerably longer than I thought. Again, had I just kind of eco managed a wee bit better, we wouldn't have been. Uh, we probably could have shaved another minute, two minutes maybe. Okay, let's defeat this and move on to our DLC. No, 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 don't spawn anything, no! Let's set us back hundreds of years. Yeah, maybe not that extreme, but it is a setback, nonetheless. Okay, on this one, we have a command center opposite us, one that's backstabbing us. And the rest, thankfully, we don't have to deal with. So we just have to destroy this one and then this one. We're not going to do that. We're... Oh. <laughs> My mother uh, beeping the car horn as she came in. I'm starting to realize most of you probably didn't hear that, but I did. So I will die her for make it known. Oh, we are, we are really not winning the economy game here. Do you know what? We will just hover our wasps about. Just need to punch through this. We have 80 of them. We can do this. Delia would like to take all of them out here. If that is possible. Yes. Yes, we did it. Okay. Now we can drop the wasps. Full builders. Let's get going. I only really need these for like construction crews. will take care of uh, our problem to the left. Uh, to about here. Ooh. Uh, it's far too late for shenanigans of going around the rear, but seems it was pretty doable oh Oh, 
Alright, that'll uh, shoot through this bit. No more builders. That is a new order. We will simply take it from here. And when you group them up, they recharge their dash attack. Uh, so that's another reason why just kind of holding them back and bunching them up makes for better engagements for the waspies. And uh, new spawns, I think, already have the dash attack ready to go. So it just works. Huh? Huh? Oh, you there. Prepare to be vanquished. Uh, you can probably take a few of these out. Dee, 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 dee. Oh, no. <laughs> Done and dusted. Right, on to uh, pathetic human world is gone. It's mine. <laughs> he's very adamant he's keeping it ah oh, so cool what a great cliffhanger that was and then we get this dlc let's go